All right, so here is the cross draw uh, way of wearing this holster. Mind you, this is not a cross draw holster. Um, it is a homemade holster, so you won't even probably call it a proper holster for even the strong side. But um, demonstrate how do we pull this. You have to cock the gun out this way. Uh, at an angle for you to be able to get the gun out and as you can see the flashlight comes on automatically because the flashlight is installed on top of a, a rail adapter which causes the flashlight to come down lower and that is one of the main reasons why I cannot find a professionally or commercially made holster for this gun is because the Glock 26 does not come with rails. And because it does not come with rails, um, I have to put a rail adapter on it. And the rail adapter is made by Recovery. Uh, Recovery is a company that is owned by an Israeli company, and uh, you can find this online through Amazon, actually. Um, the rail adapter will allow you to attach an O-light or any other kind of light on this gun, uh, on a gun that doesn't have rails, okay? So, that right there... Uh, caused the problem of not being for for me not being able to find a purposely built holster for this gun. So basically, I had, and the reason I picked the Olight was because of this magnetic charge adapter that allows you to magnetically charge your flashlight and uh, quickly, you know, disconnect to you. So it makes a perfect nightstand gun where if you're if you have it on your nightstand or inside of a drawer in on your nightstand with the charger on, you're constantly charged up. So whenever you need a, a light and your gun in an emergency, you have it right by your nightstand in your bedroom. So for that purpose alone, it makes a perfect nightstand gun. Okay? But uh, since they don't make a holster for this setup, I made my own because I have a leather kit, leather kit. So I went and purchased some leather and I water formed the leather holster to the gun. I wrapped the gun in saran wrap and leather formed, wet leather formed the gun the holster to the gun so it actually is conforming to the gun shape now this latch came off another holster that I took off and sewed onto this holster okay um this this hatch uh, latch is an addition to the secure securing the gun but it's really not necessary because the gun will not pull out. Okay. In order to pull out, you have to cock it and then pull out. Okay. So if somebody was trying to take this gun away from me, they wouldn't be able to pull it out like they think they would be able to pull it out. They have to press down, downwards, which is not a natural thing for someone to do if they're trying to take something away from you. They're either trying to pull it away from you or yank it away, okay? And it's not going to come out. Unnatural thing for someone to do when they're trying to take something away from you is actually go the opposite direction of pulling down, uh, going down or pressing down, okay, um, which in a fight, they're not going to do that. They don't know, have, they won't have the presence of mind to do that. 
So in order for this gun to come out of its holster, if I'm in a struggle, the person has to actually have the foresight or, or the mindset to cock the gun inwards, down, and pull, okay? Now, occasionally, the flashlight will come on as I pull it because the, the, uh, lever that turns the light on is pressed as I pull the gun out. So sometimes that could be a good thing if you want the light instantly, uh, or sometimes it could be a bad thing when you want to draw the gun and not let the light come out, uh, come on for conceal, uh, to be able to conceal yourself. But if you're trying to conceal yourself, you're not going to be in a hurry to pull the gun out anyway. You're going to pull it out slowly uh, as you're concealed, okay? So you're not allowing somebody to see your position. But if you're in front of someone that that already know where you're standing and only a couple of feet away from you, and you need to draw this gun quickly, you press cock, and boom. Not only do you have the light come on and you blind the person, but you're able to go bang, bang, okay? Pretty decently. I mean, uh, you know, this is not a speed holster. Okay, this is no, no, by no means is any leather holster a speed holster. Uh, yes, some leathers that doesn't secure the gun like this will come out very quickly, and those are the kind of leather holsters that if you turn upside down, the gun will just fall right out. And you know, most of you won't want that. Don't want that, right? So, in a holster that's built where it's not going to come out, a gun is not going to come out, even if you turn it upside down, unless you do it in a certain way, okay, then, you know, it takes practice to do it efficiently, but whatever. Okay, now let's go... Sorry if I'm bumping, mumbling on, but none of this is scripted, and none of this, is, you know, none, uh, you know, when you're talking on a video camera, you get kind of nervous and you lose, you stumble and you lose your vocabulary sometimes. So, so I sound like an idiot. I'm sorry, but now let's uh, put the belt on and put the gun on the strong arm side. And uh, lately, I've of, uh, I don't know what I did with my shoulder, but it, it's kind of sore. So, every time I bend my arm this way, my shoulder kind of hurts. So, it's not going to be a smooth demonstration, but I'll try my best. So, it's not the fault of the holster that I can't, uh, that I don't look smooth, but it's just the fact that I have a short, short, sore, sore shoulder right now, and it's hard to kind of bend my arm up like this. And that's what really actually motivated me to put try putting this over here. And I had no issues whatsoever pulling pulling a gun out this way. So one of the things is why would someone carry their gun cross draw? Well, they're right-handed, but maybe they have an issue with their shoulder or maybe they have uh, mobility issues where they can't pull up like this, okay? So it's easier for them to just plainly reach over here and grab out. Whereas if you bend your elbow up like this to pull a gun out, you know, for older people and with people who have, like I said, some mobility issues, uh, they may want to carry their gun cross draw. Okay, and a, a holster like this, like I said, unless they know the assailant or your attacker knows to push down and cock it in a certain way to pull the gun out, 
you're not going to be able to pull it out on most, you know, most likely you'll get a nice wedgie, but they're not going to be able to pull it out as easy. Um, and just like strong carry, if you're in a struggle, you know, you, your main objective is to keep both hands on top and, and keep the gun from being drawn by your assailant or attacker and yank away as best as you can. But even then, there's no guarantee that the gun won't be taken away from you. Now, let's demonstrate the strong arm draw. And I'll even put this back on here. Now, just like any other holsters, you get a good strong uh, grip on, on latch. Okay. And pull up. It won't pull out. You have to cock it back and pull. Now I could do that a lot smoother and easier if my shoulder wasn't uh, uh, sore, but that's it. So, is this a ideal uh, holster or any kind of holster that does that? Is that ideal for uh, close action, uh, close threat uh, situation? Probably not, because you want to be able to draw your gun fast without a lot of hassle. And um, like my Kydex holster has a has a lever button here, where if you press it, it releases the gun straight up. Okay, and uh, that's fine too. But everything takes practice and muscle memory to do properly and with efficiency. So with this holster that I made, unfortunately, homemade, um, and I agree with many of your statements, everybody who says this is not a good holster, I agree 100%. I made it. I wouldn't stake my life on this. I just did this because there are no holsters that are made for this setup. Okay? So anyway... Uh, so, am I going to be going around looking to get into a gunfight with anybody wearing this holster? No way. If I'm face squared off with somebody and I had to rely on this as like a quick draw situation, no, I would not want to do that. No matter how much I practice with this holster. So, but, far as in safety... If I'm walking around and someone wants to get into a fight with me and they see the gun, they see eventually they, let's say, somehow it got revealed that I have a gun and they want to take the gun away from me. Uh, first of all, okay, they have to unlatch this. And secondly, they're, they'll be trying to yank it or pull it away from me and it won't come out. The only way to come out is you cock it back and you come out, okay? So, uh, will it eventually come out during a struggle? You know, when they're like trying to yank it, yank it, yank it, yank it, yank it. Okay, finally it comes out, sure. But that kind of struggle and that kind of gun being taken away, that way of being, uh, that way of a gun being taken away from you, can happen to any holster, okay? But the main factor is initially when they try to take the gun, it buys you a few seconds to be able to say, ooh, this guy's trying to take my gun. I got to fight for it now, okay? So that's that's the main purpose of handgun retention in a, uh, in a holster, okay? Now, many of you say go with Kydex, 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 Kydex. It's a smooth operation it doesn't fail it doesn't stretch it doesn't warp uh it's a it's a hard uh casing that stays consistent all the time i agree i when i was a detective i wore a kydex holster and i loved it um but it wasn't very concealable uh neither is this you know i didn't make this to conceal i made this in case i had to uh i had to wear it on my belt and uh, maybe I'm out camping, 
Okay, I'm hiking, um, and I needed to wear a gun, and I didn't have, I didn't want to stick it in my pocket or in my backpack, and I wanted to wear it, and I wanted to be secure. That's why I made this holster. I did not make this holster to carry every day. And now, and now I've been in Walmart in Kentucky where dudes wore two six shooters on their sides in plain view. Okay, and that's Kentucky. And you, I think you can do that now here in Tennessee. We do have a uh, constitutional carry uh, that was passed not too long ago. So, yes, you can wear your gun out in public like this if you want to. But should you? I don't know. That's a, that's your call, but I wouldn't. Okay. So I made this holster because, like I said, there is no manufacturer who makes this, uh, make a holster for this gun. Okay. Now, if you... If you are a holster maker and you can do something like this, um, let me know and uh, show me how I can do it. Or uh, maybe you can uh, link me to a company that does it because I would be more than happy to send them the Olight and the recovery uh, adapter so they can fit it onto their Glock 26. This is a Gen 5, by the way. Uh, and uh, they can mold a Kydex holster for me, and then I'd be happy as whatever to purchase it from them. With, of course, it being somewhat reasonable, uh, you know. But um, that's that's the situation that I'm in. I know many of you are uh, giving me good advice, but I am aware of most of your advices. Uh, like I said, I, I'm I'm being realistic with this holster. I am not bragging about it. I am not touting that this is a great holster. I am just saying this 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 has become a necessity for me because there are no holsters for this setup at this point. Now there are holsters for the Glock 19 with this with this light. But the Glock 19 has a rail, so it doesn't need the rail adapter on it. So the light does go on the rail of the Glock 19, and they do make a holster for that. Okay, but for the Glock 26, it's kind of very, it's very hard to find anyone who would make a holster for this because Glock 26 weren't really designed to accept any lights or adapters. Um, so anyway, I don't want to bore you guys any longer, but that's, that's the situation I'm in. Thanks. Thanks a lot for watching.